want to live. Minsan, one hindrance is when people put you in a box. Dito lang kaya mong gawin. And you have obviously, continuously broken out of that. So, what would your advice be to people na kinakahon? Whether ng boss, friends, family in some cases. Well, I think the four of us here, we're lucky na we can be this and also this. I was a sophomore in college. What I would do was I'd go to class between 7 a.m., 8.30, up until mga 5.30. I'd go to basketball practice from 7 to 9 p.m. Sasakay ako ng huling Cubao bus sa Los Baños, Laguna, ng 9.30, 10 p.m. I'd arrive at Magic ng mga alas 12, madaling araw. I'd train hanggang alas 6 ng umaga. I'd see yung morning show, guys. They would come in at 6 a.m. I'd get on a bus. Tatawid ako sa EDSA. EDSA Pioneer. Sakay ako ng bus pa Santa Cruz. Baba ako ng Los Baños, Laguna. Go straight to class. I would sleep on the bus two or three times a week. I guess my answer by illustrating that is if you feel like you're in a box, if you feel like people look at you as just one thing, just improve, enrich yourself. When whether that's before 9 a.m. or after 6 p.m. or at 12:30 in the morning on a bus, wala kang laptop, wala kang MP3 player. So ang ginagawa mo, pinapakinig mo yung radio sa bus. Tapos ini-imagine mo yung sarili mo na okay, paano pag ako yung DJ na to? You just get crafty, you just get creative. Because I feel like the best weapon is a better you. If magaling ka, hindi ka naman la pwede sabihan na hindi mo pwedeng gawin yan eh. Si Tin was one of the first people who trained me. Si Tin was the one who recommended that I get my job. And it wasn't because sumasama ako sa BF para niya kay para uminom kasama ng kapatid niya. That's part of it. But most of it was because, and I hope this doesn't come across the wrong way, pero mas magaling ako dun sa kasabay ko nagtitraining. Not at the start and not by natural gift, maybe. Mas masipag ako sa kanya. Mas magaling ako sa kanya. So, if you are an ex by day professional from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., pero hindi, gusto mong magka-vlog, gusto mong mag-model, then you have to do what you have to do. If maghihintay ka ng break, walang magbibigay sa'yo ng break. If maghihintay ka ng may makilala ka, that'll help you out, mm, wala. Kasi I had to go up to Tin or whoever the people were who trained me and I said, pwede ba ang umupo during your show? Panoorin lang kita. I had to go up to parang si Mo Twister at the time who was gonna start his show at 6 a.m. Tapos I always had three questions. I'd always ask him those three questions. Sulat ko sa notebook. Now we're radio partners. I ask him if he ever remembers any of those encounters. He says no. So parang... Ito tips? As in you ask mm, tips? The three questions were advice. Yeah. Sabi ko parang, oh, I noticed that off-air your voice is high-pitched also like me. You don't have a naturally deep deep voice. Bakit kapag on-air, ganda na ng boses mo, what do you do? Sagot siya. Naghahanda siya ng gamit, kaya nung nairita siya sa akin, may batang bakulit, tanong ng tanong ng question, may notebook. Pero sasagot siya. I felt like that's what I had to do. And whether that was entering radio or doing things outside of radio and trying to get into TV, diba? or whether that was in the corporate job. Like, parang I was three months into my corporate job. Hindi ko na talaga matis. Hindi ko talaga alam eh. So lumapit ako dun sa HR namin. Tapos binulong ako. Ano ibig sabihin ng offset? Kasi Tinatanong ako ng junior ko kung pwede siya mag-offset. Hindi ko alam kung papayag ba ako hindi. You just have to admit to yourself, eto ako, this is where I want to be. The gap is what you don't know. No one else is going to figure out that gap but you. That's so important yung to not be afraid to ask. Sometimes we're afraid to ask because we might be judged. Ano ba yan? Di alam yung offset. But sometimes if you don't know, you really have to ask. Either someone you trust or in your case, you were the makulit na bata asking those who were ahead of you for advice and tips. You, you obviously started in radio but branched out to sports casting, now even producing, head writing. I mean, those are parallel but very different fields of work. How do you take that step into trying something new? I wish I had clear encompassing answer na parang if I share that with you, you take that home and all problem solved. And Instagram it. Yeah, di ba? And parang code, quotable no, quote siya. Pwede mong i-calligraphy <laughs> oh. sa notebook mo. Wala eh. And I think that's step one. I think step one is the knowledge, and the cognizance to know na there is no one fell swoop solution to my problems. And that as much as we're trying to share what we've learned here with you, our situations and our learnings won't fit perfectly with yours. And there's a thousand percent chance that if I ask you something, I'll probably get more from you than you get from me, which is why I'm kind of looking forward to questions later. No? But for me, the one thing I've always told myself though was, 
mistakes are a currency. And they're a currency that I try to rack up and I try to save up. As opposed to sometimes, baka medyo takot tayo to make mistakes. Nung bata ako, I was much less afraid to make mistakes. Then would know, multiple times when I was a junior child, she was asked to come in on a weekend to sit me down in a conference room. Medyo pakul pa si Tim. <laughs> Hindi siya magsasalita. Just listen. Ipiplay niya yung recording nung show ko. Tapos ako parang, <laughs> galing ko. It's parang afterwards, she'd break it down. Iisa-isahin niya yan. This is what you did wrong. You spoke too long. Your levels were weird. So and so, blah, 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 blah. It was the same. pala yun. Yeah, yeah. But she took the time. She didn't have to. Producing for TV, it was the same thing. Making shows, I didn't know what I was doing. The first five episodes, ironically, of the show we did together. I could feel them kind of looking at it. I was in the show with her, Casey Montero, Mo Twister, veterans, di ba? I was head writing the show, I was producing the show. Five episodes in, medyo palpak pa rin kami. I knew they were kind of looking at me like, Nico, ano ba? Like, shape up. But I was like, hey, there's only one way for me to learn how to do this. And I was, I kept making mistakes. And for me, if you see people out there who aren't necessarily good yet at what they're doing, ako mas bilib ako dun. No, try sila, pumapalpak sila. Sana, alam mo na pumapalpak ka, you learn from it, makes you better. Kesa dun sa too cool to try. There are people who are a little too cool to try, di ba? Hindi, ayoko itryan kasi ba, di ako magaling dyan eh. I'd rather be with people who try and fail. Okay, sabay-sabay tayong pumalpak. Or let's keep racking up mistakes together. Kasi that's the only way you figure out how to do things if you're trying something new.